Okay, so you've probably seen a lot of these types of how to start playing complete tutorials instead of a game, but they don't actually show the start as well as well, the best things to do, so I'm just going to go through that. As you get into the game, you'll be first greeted with this screen. You'll have to summon three times, and then you'll get specific characters. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Usopp. If it lets me carry on. Yeah, I can't remember his name, but someone from Dragon Ball, he's dead. And then we're going to get Kakashi. No, we're not. We're going to get another Usopp. Hmm, I've played through this game three times. Maybe it is random and just really strangely lucky. Okay, so you're going to automatically have those three equipped. But what I recommend, firstly, is going through the codes. The codes I'll leave in the description of the ones that are currently up. And now let's give you gems or boosts. What? Obviously, but the game being completely around gems will be quite useful. Couldn't invalid, I think. I think. Can't remember if I've done this one or not. I haven't. And then this one last code. Let me. Do that. Okay, so we have 400, so I'm just gonna summon now. You can watch if you want to, but if not, I'll just leave timestamps and comments of when you should go to. You'd say he's called Kid Sassy. Oh my, I hate localized names so much. I know, look, super rare. Hey, just in case you're still watching, whenever you open them, the color score will determine what rarity you get. This is another super rare. This is lucky. And then... Green, this will be a rare. Get... So, like, a yellowy color, I think that's common. We'll probably see it in a second, because... Because I have three more summons and comments of... What's with my luck? That's Goku. Well, if I was wondering how I knew that, it's just in chat there. This is the colour of common. Epic is purple, legendary's orange. I can't remember what a six star would be. Oh, it's got another common. Okay, let's get it over with. We're ready. Okay, now that you've done that, I'd recommend equipping your three best characters. So, for me, that would be my... You. You, and you. I wouldn't recommend equipping two of the same character, because the cooldowns just carry over between characters. I'm gonna fold my Sas feed my Sasuke. I remembered how poor we start off. I have one going left. One yen. Just ignore chat. There's people obtaining stuff, what would be useful to you. As you come in, we do codes, you also get XP boosters, and I think there's also one for a yen booster that I haven't done yet. You'll have quests that you can claim. I'd recommend doing these daily quests every day, they give a ton of crystals, what would be used to summon. You can also spend real bucks on this, but it's really expensive. Yeah, it's about, what, one real buck per crystal, depending on the package. Not great. I should, what does Yen give? But still not great. Obviously, once you have more Yen, you can feed your characters. Like so. And then once you've finished that, and gotten everything over with, first thing you want to do is go to Adventure. These are endless modes, I wouldn't recommend doing them. I'd recommend going through the bottom path, which is the Naruto path, it's the easiest one. If you see someone already doing it, you could join into them. I prefer to do it solo, so that... Um, basically, whenever people die, there's a small chance to drop an artifact will um, level up your characters. And their stats. Hopefully you don't have to watch this, I'll leave a timestamp in the comments for once I've finished playing for this first game. 
But this is basically what it's going to be for now. If I'm silent, then sorry about that. Okay. Yeah. As you come in, this is actually a really good character. Well, so Q to dash, hold after block. Block only works when you're looking at him. If you're not looking at him, your health will still drain. At the end of every wave, you regain a small bit of health. As you'll see just now. Each character has different movesets and have different playstyles. So I'd recommend uh, looking through each character showcase. What I might have out, depending if I get every character. Six stars are kind of rare. So it might take a while if I was to. Ow. See, you've got Sasuke. Ooh. Sasuke. Is he. Oh, that's... he's not stopping. Ah, artifact. As I said, artifacts will randomly just drop on the ground, and you just need to click on them to pick them up. Another strategy that you could do if you have AoE character moves, you could just get them all together. I don't know which character mission is AoE, but. And you're that, just fucking view fire on him. Ah, that didn't come on. That's AoE as well. Kunai, don't think it would be, it is. Hello. Getting all together, Chidori. Cat on. And they're dead. That's a very great playstyle if you are planning on playing with an AoE type uh, base character. This is really annoying. They just keep. They get stuck behind a bush. So you need to just lure them out sometimes. And. AoE. Oh, this is lagging my game badly. I'm gonna need to set my. Oh, two artifacts. Uh, nice. Uh, what's Lion Sparge? Ah. Oh, ow. Ow. Kunai. I'm getting a ton of artifacts. What's this luck? Artifact. Artifact. What's the best rate you can get the six star? I remember what they're called because I actually haven't got my own six star yet on my main account. I will work my hardest to try get out every character showcase for you guys. You should just run around. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Ah, uh, we still believe in fire. I usually need our dream moves. Whenever you go to start a mission, you have an option of either easy or medium. Or see, the harder you go, the more rewards you'll get. I think easy is 0 0.5, medium's 1, hard is 1.15, overkill is 1.35 times rewards. At the start, I only recommend going for. Um, either easy or medium, like I'm doing. I can see even I'm struggling with medium though, so it might be worth not going for that. Oh no. Collect the artifact. You can always just collect artifacts after the wave unless it's the last wave, so I'd recommend uh, just leaving it until there's no enemies left, or it's like one. Oh, that's what that does. Ow. Yeah. 
upgrade cannon. This is not a good character. Oh god. Oh, I'm Goku now. Yeah. I wish, really wish that move gave five frames. This is the easiest throughout. I would say Dragon Ball is easier, but at the same time, I only tried that when I had a legendary and it was my first throughout. I got really lucky my first time playing. Oh, Goki's really good. But I need to turn down my graphic settings. Ow. Um. Oh, good. I'd still recommend picking up every one you get. Yeah, graphic settings. I recommend picking up every artifact you find. That is a lot of artifacts. Every time you first finish a mission, you get 50 um, crystals. After that, I'm just, well, have a good do, I guess. I'm not actually sure. Let's see, I found a ton of artifacts. I'll show you what they do now. As well as I'll use my one summon that I got. That's it if the game wants to load. The game take, tends to take a long time to load, but I feel like the load is, loading time is really worth it with how good the gameplay is. Okay, this is a lot longer than normal. There we go, we're in. So first I'll get the summon out of the way. Ooh, super rare. Is that Sanji time skip? I think that's time to skip. Inventory. I... I actually, actually like all these characters. So, anyways. With artifacts, just use an artifact, you need to click on the character in the character's menu and then click on artifacts. So let's just look through all of them. I feel like Marines has my best artifacts, so I'm just... No, I'm... What do you need to do? Sorry. No, I said that. You need to make sure everyone's fair character. Unequip the character that you want, and then you have to do it. So, click on the character, equip. It will bounce his Sasuke. It won't replace any stats. It'll just replace the previous artifact stats and delete it. So once you put an artifact on a character, that's the final time you can change it. Goku. Um, no. Nope. There it is. And then equip, swap your view. Artifacts. All of the some artifacts will give really bad effects. I found one that's all minuses before was really dumb. Cool. Never want to do anything with minus cooldown percentage, that's for sure. I'm gonna equip this. This is the best one I have. There we go. I'm gonna equip, swap with Sanji. Feed Sanji. And now we have all of our artifacts equipped. Obviously, if you click on them, you can see the artifact stats here. As you go on, you'll probably get better ones. Well, I should hope so. Always check your quest, finish multiple quests. And then go to adventure. As you go on and on, stuff will get harder. On your first time playing, you can only play on medium though, or easy. But now I can redo it on hard if I really wanted to. 
the Coliseum, Coliseum Battle Dungeon, as well as Endless Tunings and all Endless Modes. The higher floor you get, the more crystals you get. I'm really surprised that someone got to floor 539. That seems really, really overkill. My game's really lagging. Like, a lot. And this mode is definitely the best way to get crystals, like, later on in the game. For now though, I'd recommend just sticking to the story until you actually get good characters. I'm gonna hope my game stops lagging. Because if not, I'm not gonna be very happy. There we go. So you need to finish every storyline until you can get to that middle um, story quest. That middle story quest will be the hardest one. I'd recommend doing that with multiple people. And that will be the last one in the story. You need to finish every single line before you do it. I will start this story quest if it lets me. Also you can play cop if you just click on join. On the rooms that are available. We should try to cost like 10 real bucks, so it might be worth it. Sorry about that one guys, I don't know how that's happened, but here we go again. If you want to know when you have iframes, like your invincibility, I'd recommend going to settings. I'll show you that right now once I load in. Then we'll go into see more gameplay, type of mechanics, type of stuff. So I'm just, that's being full. Settings. Enable wireframe viewers, how you know when you're invincible. Disable damage counters might help with lag. Allow tracking for Robux leaderboard, that's just your choice. If you don't plan on really spending Robux, so you shouldn't really care about that. You can disable the screen shake music and other player effects. Go disable music and then actually. Yeah. I'd recommend having it quite quiet because when you're attacking a ton of enemies at once, just the noise it makes is painful. Create, start game. I'm gonna start it instantly. That way, no one else can join because this is just me trying to play by myself. If you want, to, someone joined. If you want to play with with your friends, you could either create a private server or just try to get all in at once. As the game hoster, um, you can just click on someone's name and you'll just kick them, other than yourself, obviously. That's most of the basics. I'll show you some more gameplay. Um, that was loud. Why is it using Smash? I don't know. Ah. As you see, that move gives sensible frames, eye frames. As you can see, this is quite loud. Turn sound off, that's really loud. Well, only one of Goki's moves give I dreams. I'm gonna show it for every character for now. Um, well, every character that I have right now. This is really sad. Katan does not. Doesn't make sense, I did die whilst using it. Shidoli does not either. The Kunai does not, and neither does the Lion Barrage. Sasuke has no eye frames. Don't know why I've just bothered upgrading him. If you want a character with like a ton of eye frames, I'd go for someone like Vegeta or Minato. Okay, Nada. I don't know his name, so I'm calling him Vat, sorry for anyone who I triggered. Oh yeah, be careful, because some enemies might have projectiles, and it's really painful. Great cannon does not. Floating wave also does not. That makes sense. It's nothing that I can move around. Great crush does not either. That's another character with no eye frames. Goku needs your eye frames. If it's a move that you literally can't move, then I'd expect eye frames from it. Unless it's just for OP. And 
this is the last one, this is... There we go. Well, so leave ideas down in the comments on what you might want to see in this game. I might save up a ton of gems and then do an opening or something like that. See if I can get anything good. I'll see how I'll try get that sh character showcase done. Uh, you want to like follow me into this? Yes, you do. People just follow themselves into death. If there's anything I ever miss out, then please try keeping the put in the comments. I'll pin it so that I can just help everyone out. So check the comments. If there's just well, I can speak. Just check the comments realistically after you finish watching this video, because there might be something else that's useful that I missed out on. Don't mean too bad if I did. Not everyone's perfect. That hurts. And um, please walk into your death. Thank you. Spirit Bomb seems to be really OP. Because you need to stand inside of it and not die. Uh, it's my first time I've actually playing with any of these units. Oh, that's why Spirit Bomb has such a big cooldown, actually, I see. Kamehameha. There we go, ain't nobody being Goku. Other than, you know, people who can. Can't be bothered with arguments. Oh, no. Rats. Ow. That, yeah, you gain 20 health per round. Well, for low health characters, it seems like a lot, but it's always the same. But you can flow. Ow. Why? I hate this. There we go. What? That hit me with them. Bruh. Oh yeah, don't know how you actually start them. It just randomly happens. I'll look into it. If I can find out, leave it in the description. If I can't find it, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Oh no, there's a lot of people. Uh, how many minutes? I dream. Okay. Ow. Quickly run to pick up. I didn't get the artifact. Can I still click it up? No. Sense of lobby. I'm gonna end this off with this last summon. As well as check the quest, see if I can afford any more summons. As you know, the loading time is lovely in this game. Who just doesn't like loading for two hours? 
Don't mean to tell I'm kidding. Um, again, like I said, it's worth the loading time. Unless you're just really impatient. At that point, um, don't play, I guess. I don't know. This is really awkward. I'm probably going to cut this part out. Oh, no, mind right here. Okay, summon. Actually, wait, no. Let's check quests first if I have any gems. No, I don't. Never mind. Need to def defeat a thousand enemies for that. Ten, en ten bosses. Play adventures. Rank up a. I wouldn't recommend trying to rank up a character. To rank up a character, I think it means to evolve, if I remember correctly. What? You need to get to max level and then evolve it. What will be really expensive. It's really painful trying to do and I'm ending off with a common. What a way to end off. Well, good to see you in the next video and goodbye.